And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Viego. Going to be our last meme tier deck of the day. This one is going to be a fearsome Nightfall deck, which is exactly what Nocturne is, right? Nocturne has both Nightfall and is fearsome. And so we're going to be combining Nocturne with a lot of other fearsome units. Um, you know, Stygian Onlooker, Ragnoid Horror, Mist Wraith, um, Wraith Caller, even Dusk Rider, because Dusk Rider again has that Nightfall and Fearsome. Like Viego, Fearsome, Hydrovine, Fearsome, Raz Bloodmane, Fearsome. And, and so all these Fearsome units, we can then use cards like Raz Bloodmane, attack, give the enemies minus two, minus zero, make it difficult for them to block. Of course, you have Nocturne um, that also has the ability uh, to reduce the power of the units to make it more difficult for them to block. And then we're playing this card uh, that I haven't played too much before of, but Rite of Dominance, four mana, fast speed, just a one of that can finish out games and that could really surprise opponents where we destroy our mana gem, give all of our enemies minus two, minus zero, and then they just won't be able to block our fearsomes and they could be surprised by that. A couple of siphoning strikes to grow Nocturne and Viego. That sounds pretty cool. Um, let's see. And then we even have like, so like the Untu Dusks can do some a few things. You can like give Onlooker Fearsome again, like after it already had Fearsome for one round, or you can drain him with Doom Beast. That's what a lot of people think of, but you can actually do the Nocturne ability now. Um, you know, it doesn't, it won't do the targeting part, the grants an enemy vulnerable, but you can give the enemies minus one, minus zero. So burst speed, uh, just suddenly, you know, if you have a Nocturne in play, you have like two of these Untu Dusks in hand. You can, you know, two mana burst speed, Minus one, minus zero is do it again, and then swing out. Um, could be pretty cool. So let's give it a try. Nocturne Viego. We're going to go just take it on over to normal to see how it works over there. But I could see this deck doing pretty well. I think this should do just fine. Let's see. We got Echo Karma. We have been playing against a bunch of off-meta decks today, which has been good. So we'll send the Hydra Vines back. We'll keep Soldier and Nocturne. Yeah, we'll keep Nocturne. One, of course, curve out. So I could see maybe sending Nocturne back looking for a two drop. Wow. We send two sevens and get two sevens right back. Okay, so it's not the best as far as getting a good start. All right, so we'll save our three spell mana towards Siphoning Strike. Really, Miss Wraith? <laughs> you didn't show up last round? We have five total Shreema cards in the deck. Two Raz, two Siphoning Strike, and the one Rite of Dominance. So we've got two of the five in our hand. So there's only three others in the deck. Good. And so we didn't hit one right there. And so the 2-1 doesn't trade profitably anywhere. So yeah, we'll just trade a couple of 4-2s. So that, that's our 1-4 drop trading with two 3 drops. That's good. We could try to Siphoning Strike that. Now we'll just play... Let's play Diego. Start getting some encroaching mist. It's looking like we're going with the Encroaching Mist part of the deck right here. Get double Cam of Orin Soldier. We'll just go right for that. Is that leveled up? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. The two four twos and now two time tricks. Echo levels up pretty quickly now. I don't 
No, it's also enticing just to pass. You just don't need to be in a rush with Viego in play. I do my own stunts. Head and top side. Surrender to me. In the darkness, like hunger, only grows. And Viego gets pretty absurd pretty fast. And so it's like, do they have, like, they're playing Ionia, so like, do they have like a bounce spell, like a Will of Ionia or something like that? Because otherwise, you know, this Viego is obviously super leveling up. It's, it's at 18 out of 20, it's going to easily level up at the round end, which kills their Echo. So they got lots and lots and lots of cards over there. So lots of cards, lots of mana. So I'm sure they have lots of options. So what do they have available? The spirit gives to those who listen. Okay, I like seeing that. Ionia speaks through me. Okay, that's not too bad either. <laughs> yep, Viego just wins. So yeah, we're good. This is a little absurd. Alright, Viego, I think you can probably attack now. The only card that blocks Viego is their 4-3 Karma. Man, it's like, how do they print this card? <laughs> So, could have Chrono Break, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, that, that does bring back the Echo. Well, that's kind of annoying, bringing back the Echo. I don't need to just despair because despair strikes until they get another time trick. I just don't want them getting more zero minute time tricks. You do realize you already had the attack token and you just lost the attack token, right? What was the point of that? Just, I guess they just want to get the card out of their hand. I guess. Surrender to me. The order rewards its faithful. The, the vulnerable is permanent grant. The minus one, minus zero is not permanent. Um, this just lets me still keep both of my spells available. Both of my champion spells. Both champion spells available. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Probably not playing Nocturnes. I want to get I want to get rid of that uh, two on elusive. Just get, get that thing out of here. Ooh. 
Okay, well... I guess that's a thing. So, they, they found a Will of Ionia. to have karma block. Alright, so we'll put them down to one and, you know, the, the Nightfall cards, we can probably create something that can, okay, I was going to say, you know, like we, there's a lot of Nightfall cards that we could create that would do one point of damage. But that's not bad either, you know, being able to silence Echo. That could be pretty important. But this is looking looking good. <laughs> Eighteen seventeen Viego and six five Viego. All right, G G. We are one and O. Oh, that was a Viego game to a T. Dragons. This is going to be more difficult. Dragons are always difficult. All right, send you back. What do you? I guess I don't even know what Unspeakable Horror is gonna really do. Not so bad. You know, just trade twos. Would have liked something to do right here. Really about falling to dragon fire. I am more than I seem. That card. We missed. Prepare for battle! One of our four Sharima cards in our deck. Unfortunately, Despair and Siphoning Strike are both slow, so if they have five mana dragon. Gosh, they do have five mana dragon. That's terrible for us. But it's just better than playing like a Dusk Rider, they'd just be a 3 5. End them. Yeah, this is bad. Now I take to the sky. Yeah, I saw I saw Nasher, yeah, I got donation deck. Cool, cool, cool. Shivana's stuff to beat. Yep. I'm glad they're using that on that card instead of on Viego or Hydra Vine, but that does probably mean that they have other um, other fight spells. You'd probably imagine that. We'll get Hydra Vine in first to start growing Viego. Pass. Okay, that's better than third strike. Yeah, so we're gonna learn a lot more on Tuesday. So just in like three days, yeah, we'll learn probably more about Jace and all, all that kind of stuff. Like the new, what's gonna be happening, happening in Rune Terra here coming up. No nightfall for us. It's too bad. That keeps that alive. They've never seen a 
trio like this before! Three times the pain! You cannot sway me! Third strike. Please work. Fight spell's gonna be brutal. Think about shooting my 3 1 with the Unspeakable Horror. I guess if I did that, then the Screeching Dragon would still be a 4 5, so if we attack with a Raz, then it can't block Fearsome. Can't have more fight spells. How many of these fight spells do I gotta play? 1, 2, 3. I guess this is number 4. I guess that would have been the reason to block there. Alright, so we attack out. Block, block. We do 6. I was hoping for Moonlight Affliction, how we, we got Moonlight Affliction last time. Maybe get, you know, like a nice double silence, double camp block kind of thing. I think we have to try to go wide. You dead. Yep. Okay, Timo. Hey, we got it. Got a pretty good curve. Got twos and threes. I like that. We'll be able to find top end. We, our deck's definitely top end heavy, so I'm not too worried about that. So I'm guessing this is like a Teemo Sejuani or Teemo Ezreal deck that's just not playing the secondary champion. It's only just playing the one champion. That'd be my guess. Yeah, Nightfall is not easy to activate. Not, or not you know, these first couple of rounds of the game. And so I'm just gonna pass. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Well, that's not good. All right. Camelboard Soldier would have allowed me to have double unspeakable horror. So maybe I should be going with that. 
Man, that's a lot of mana they're wasting. But I should still attack. Yeah, they're just playing normal Mushroom Cloud. They just have that card in their deck. So it looks like their deck is completely reliant on having Teemo and Puffcat Peddler. They probably don't have any other, like, very useful cards in their deck. Like, those are probably the only two cards that can kill you. There's no way these Unspeakable Horrors actually kill stuff. You know, like, for all you are, they, they protect... I don't think we would have been able to kill Teemo before. I think that, you know, they would have used Elixir of Iron, Troll Chant, those kind of things. I, I don't think Unspeakable Horror would have ever killed the Teemo. The only thing is, you know, would have been doing that before they have the Peddler in play. There we go. Now, like, this has a chance. It's still just Frostbite, though. But that at least has a chance. Of killing Teemo, like these things don't. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Okay, had a chance. <laughs> they seem really happy about themselves. This is, I mean, there's a good chance this is like their only game that they're, that they've won in a while, and so they're pretty happy about it. <clears throat> or at least looking like they're going to win. We still got them down to nine. These unspeakable horrors can go to the Nexus. We're going to be going wine. Our Unto Dust can drain two more from the Doom Beast. Like, they're in a really rough spot. Like, how do they stay alive? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Can spoil the surprise? Sure. Go make those blocks. Take seven. Sure. Oh, that would have been bad. If that would have killed the 4 1. That would have been bad. Good game. Alright, two and one. Alright, Lulu Shen. I always like my Shen Demacia decks. It's so hard to send back Viego. But we saw that against the Shivana deck that we didn't really have the ability to play. Demacia has the challengers. Oh, I guess we'll send it back. Demacia has the challengers, the fight spells. But it's you know, the best card in our deck. I don't know if we should be sending it back. All right, we'll get one back anyway. Okay, lots of Nightfall. Lots of not so easy to enable Nightfall. It hurts. It hurts playing on Spiegel Horror without the Nightfall. But saves us a good amount of life. I can save the. The reason why I wouldn't play the 2 2 right now is because we can save the 2 2 to help other things. Now we play. Hey, onlooker is always good. The 
requires a watchful eye. Honor guide me. That was the correct blocks. Or correct attack, I mean. I was definitely gonna be playing Viego, but you know now withdrawing that, we can play that, then play this, and just kind of go wide. They're they're all attacking for four. No judgment mana available. Just a man with a Twitch Prime sub. Let's show some hype in the chat for our, our resub there. Two months now. Thanks, just a man. I appreciate that. There is no dispute. I'll stop you. All right, so probably life steal barrier. That's what that's looking like. Oh, just swap and barrier? Well, that sounds bad. I mean, that's 16 damage. They won't take 16? I mean, you, you can take 16 if you want, I guess. Okay. Alright, they'll take 12. I'll go ahead and kill the Bright Steel Protector. You know, again, just getting a body out of there. Yeah, Heaven's Aligned is cool. I don't want Viego to die. Some for unspeakable horror. I sense an imbalance. Aha! Our wills align. Do I want the room? Seven mana next round. Soldier plus Doom Beast. Getting Shen down to four health. That's gotta be fight spell. That's gotta be single combat. Good play. It's gonna go this route. This? This will not take long. Thinking that. Even if Diego dies, we probably get them down to two. Okay, so then they're going to fight spell, probably fight Shen, Diego. But then we're not getting them down to two. I was thinking maybe we could get them down to two and Doom Beast for the others' damage. I will not be made to wait. Okay. I'll close my eyes, make it fair. All right, there we go. Good, got them down to one. Basically, hope they don't have Shen's champion spell. If they have Shen's champion spell, we lose. Good. Well, I guess no, we would have only taken eight. So no, we would have been fine. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Oh, I guess a rally. Okay, cool. And there we go. Doom Beast finished out. All right, three and one. There is only darkness. Yeah, if we can win this, we'll have a 4114 day. <laughs> so, this is probably a catalog go hard deck, that would be my guess. I think we always kind of have to keep Viego and you know, then Mulligan looking for some cheaper stuff cuz we've seen that the 4 5 mana slots are pretty full for us. Yeah, definitely looking like catalog go hard. I 
I really want to draw more Camelborn Soldiers, like having that one, so that Viego's already a 6-5 instead of 5-4, like that's a big deal. Yep. Not too surprised by that. Good start for them. Come closer. I don't fight. So I'll just pass. We'll see what they do. Okay, two mana left. I don't think they can stop this. If I if I try to shoot the Sentinel and they, they could glimpse beyond one of these others and then grow it, I guess I'm not that mad at that. It's kind of about the only thing I can think of is glimpse beyond. Cool. Gonna have big Viegos. Big, big Viegos. Gonna have big Viegos. Viego Siphoning Strike. That's a, that's a thing. Submission or death for all who leave. I will not be made to wait. Okay. No vengeance, no thermal beam. I will find her. No, we'll go and play this. Thinking that like if we open attack, then they vengeance, then we can play second Viego afterwards. But actually, we're gonna wait on that second Viego anyway. We'll play like this. We'll play Hydrovine next round. We must all make sacrifices. I should probably just be passing the round and letting that die at round end, so then we get. The other encroaching risk for the next round. But I like just making sure that we get it at all. There's probably no reason not to attack with Viego. Yeah, probably no reason not to attack with it. Nest, hatch, feed. That's a lot of Elise. All right, so I didn't play that that round too good. Should not have attacked. My true well, I imagine we're gonna be okay. I imagine. The sea is too shallow a grave. Nothing will escape. Raz. I don't want to put any more threats out there, though. I'll just pass. There's that ruination. I was going to do 13 damage, which would have been a lot of damage. I will take back what is mine. All of it. Four and one. All right, a couple four one today. Uh, Viego is just insane. <laughs> I think that's what we kind of learned here is just this card is insane. And putting it with a bunch of fearsomes is a good idea. Um, and that's what we were able to do and uh, pull out some wins. Doom Beast looked really good. Um, and, you know, we had Unto Dust, Doom Beast, and stuff like that. They got some drain wins for us. Um, didn't really need Nocturne too much. I mean, Nocturne wasn't necessarily bad. It's just Viego is so good. <laughs> That's kind of how it is. And the games we kind of struggled, you know, like, we could get a little bit too heavy of a curve here uh, with Nocturne, Dust Rider, and stuff. But Viego is awesome. Siphoning Strike, Viego, awesome. And that's just kind of how it is. You just kind of want more 
uh, Viegas. But um, I like the the fearsome stuff too. We didn't really get to show it off, but um, just like a week ago, we did play a Raz Bloodmain fearsome deck, and it and it looked good of like you know giving the enemies minus two minus zero and attacking in and everything. Uh, we didn't like I said we didn't get to really show it off too much because Viego dominated. But I think that's a that's a nice little backup plan for whenever you don't have your Viego. Um, having your Nocturne and Bloodmain. Pretty good backup plan. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for Nocturne Viego. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing some Nightfall Fearsome Viego. Let me know in the comment section if you've been looking for a spicy Viego list. Feel free to try this one out. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next one.